Welcome everyone to part two in your C-sharp programming tutorial series. The previous video, we got our environment set up, we got Visual Studio, which came with the .NET framework. And as a reminder, C-sharp is the language we're coding in, and .NET is what allows us to execute this code on our computer. When you get Visual Studio, it should all work. So what happens is when you click new project, you should be able to go in here, create a new project and execute it right away. So where are we going to start? Well, to learn the C-sharp programming language, one of the best ways is just to go through console applications. Console applications just execute in the terminal. Very simple, they take input, give output, and so forth. So on the left here under .NET Core, click App, and then Console Application, make sure you're on C Sharp, and then click Next, and then give it a name. You can name it whatever, I'm gonna call it YouTube. I'm gonna put it in its own folder here, and I'm not gonna be using Git for version control. But if you're interested in storing your projects on GitHub or something, you might wanna click that. All right, create. Awesome, so this is microscopic, so to zoom in, hold command and hit plus. If you're on Windows, you can hold control and hit plus. This is nice because it basically gives you everything you need to execute your first program. You don't have to code anything, so when you click this play button in the top left, what happens is a terminal will pop up and it should say, hello world. So you just created your first Hello World program. It only took us about three seconds. So the focus of this video is now going to just be some basics that'll help you succeed throughout the rest of this series. I also wanted to give a special thank you to our sponsor of this series, Monday.com. Monday.com is the best project management software out there. You can use it to track work projects as well as personal projects. It's a great way to figure out what's actually being worked on and what needs to be done to hit a minimum viable product or to meet certain requirements for a project and so forth. Monday.com is very flexible with lots of capabilities and features. One thing I like is that you can make your boards public to specific people. So for example, if you have a client or some external key stakeholder that you wanna share your progress with, you can use Monday.com to share where you are in the project. This can be good to eliminate that communication barrier in technology, which is usually a thing. So you're actually working on the things that need to get done for the project. <laughs> Check them out, guys. I'll leave a link for you in the description. It would help me out. You won't be disappointed. It's a great software. All right, so what else are we going to talk about in this video since we already wrote our first application? Well, I decided in the next video, I'm going to go through the basics of what all this code means. I really want to give that foundation so you understand what exactly your typing means and why you're typing it versus just copying and pasting. For now, we just want to focus on the big picture, but basically we just told the computer to write the words, hello world. This here is the console, and there's actually different ways you can execute a C-sharp program. So what we can do is open a new tab in our terminal and change to the project directory. So to do that, you say CD space, and then a capital P projects. And now when we say LS, which by the way, if you're on Windows, this might not all work the same. What we can do now is change into that YouTube directory. Once again, CD YouTube. And now we could say .NET run. And this is also going to execute our application. So the whole concept of using these commands inside of the terminal to execute our application, this is known as a CLI, command line interface. Which one you choose to use is totally up to you. The .NET CLI has a lot of stuff in it. We're just gonna be using the basic stuff like .NET Run, maybe some other things throughout the series. But if you're really into using the terminal, making scripts, whatever you wanna do, you'll definitely wanna learn the .NET CLI. If all you're interested in doing is writing some applications, you could always just go up here and click the play button. We'll probably be using a little bit of both, so expect to see some of the CLI as well as some of the GUI buttons over here. For now, we're gonna focus on Visual Studio, some of the other things you can do in here. First off, if you go up to the top and you click Run, you can see there's this start without debugging. That's a little bit different than what we just did. So when you click this, this is going to execute this not in debugging mode. So there's essentially two ways to execute your application. One is in debug mode and one is not in debug mode. The way they work is different. Typically, if you're trying to fix a problem in your code, you'll wanna use debug mode because you can do things such as set breakpoints. So for example, I can go in here, click on the side here, and this is going to set a breakpoint and it's going to pause our code when we hit that. So if I run this, you can see it stopped and it's saying, hey, we hit this breakpoint. This is not possible unless you run in debug mode. So that's just some of the capabilities. There's all other different things you can do with debug mode, such as all these different breakpoint controls, stepping and so forth. We're gonna get into some of that throughout this series. But with that intro, that should be everything you need to know to start learning C Sharp. Thank you guys for watching. In the next video, we're going to talk about what all this junk in this code means. 
So hopefully then you have a pretty good understanding of the upcoming content. Basically, the foundation of all we do can be seen in just these 13 lines of code. Most people just dive in and start coding without really understanding what's going on here. And as a result, you're missing out on some of that foundational knowledge that's gonna help you throughout your career. So check out the next video, guys. It's gonna be awesome. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, link in the description. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.